Hey guys, Ian here, and welcome to episode 14 of Ian MC Plays Saints Row 4. I forgot I had these. Um, uh, we got some upgrades I need to get. Um, not right now, though. Um, anyway, the episode's title kind of says it all. Get mad. Um, are you really sure about this? I mean, I know he can help, but it's Matt Miller. Yeah, we get it. There goes my fan. It occasionally grinds. It does that again. I'm unplugging it until the end of this recording. Which is what I'm gonna do. You know what? I'm gonna try one more time. If it does that again, then I'm unplugging it, okay? Okay, good. Sorry about that. Uh, that's not my laptop fan. I have a cooling pad. Which is what you guys heard. I just can't believe I spent like half the video trying to fix a cooling pad. Woohoo! Use of the broken shillelagh. Which... Actually, we saw the inside of it back in the original, not the original, the uh, last game. The original would be Saints Row, which I do pro I did have a digital copy of on my on my Xbox initially. Everybody's wondering what the hell happened to it. Uh, it's been it's long been deleted off my Xbox. Let's make room for other games like uh, Dragon Age. Which also is no longer on my uh, Xbox, so uh, I deleted a Saints Row for nothing. Yeah, Keith David. The number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. And yeah, I have no idea what the mic, what's making the mic go off like that. And there's a guy drinking right there. He's drunk. He's drunk. Ooh. Yeah, I'm trying to do comedy. Yeah, so we can trust him like she does. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can trust him. Despite what happened in the last game. superpowers either. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why the fuck are there giant words in my face? Command prompt. Kenzie, you gonna fix this or what?
as simple as 3D? No, 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 no. Don't put in a space. Seriously, how do you steer this thing? Oh yeah, I can't even tell which one's mine. But for those who don't get it, this is a reference to uh, Combat, which is one of the old Atari, which is one of the early Atari games. And I just blow this thing up, right? Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. What is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. this game it's I mean, when it came out I'm with the odds here mine's it us what games video games are supposed to be fun and I will admit out of all the games that came out in 2013 this was the most fun Thank you, by the way, kid. This is our space, and I haven't been turned into a sex doll or a toilet yet. God, are you still mad about that? That is fine. Like I said, I mentioned there's a lot of people are peeing as Saints Row characters on uh, the internet, which role playing as them. Oh, come on. Tank controls like molasses. Don't worry, everyone needs to be. But that might as well be steering molasses. It'd be easier. Power's going down. Oh, I don't think vulnerable. Hang on, I'll find the Swarmed here. Wait, let me try something. This will work. Tron time. But yeah, most of this episode's gonna be us rescuing Matt, cause. Uh, Yet again, I am impressed by Miss Kensington. 
though this attempt is as futile. Oh, look, an alien with a superiority contest. Shakespeare. And I love Shakespeare. I, uh, have to actually uh, watch it yet. All our yesterdays have lighted food. Some Fritzes are upon the stage. And then is her. Figures he mentioned a stage. Uh, he wrote plays, so it makes a little bit of sense. <laughs> what idiot said that? I never did like that play. Yeah, no. <laughs> are thinking, dude, you're going the wrong way. Uh, it's say it. No, we're not. Uh, we're going the right way. Trust me. Trust someone who's actually played this game before. To be fair, though, when I first played this game, it was with a friend, so yeah. Because we were waiting for Saints Row the Third, to, Saints Row, not the Third, Saints Row Four to come out. And now that there's a standalone expansion, I mean, I'm not even sure what how Gad Out of Hell fits into Saints Row. You know, uh, th this one. I say that mostly because there's no way that the concept plot of the boss being saved from having his having his soul saved uh, fits into how that fits into the concepts of Saints Row Four. I don't get. I don't know. Although, I mean, the se it does let us do something a lot of people have been kind of wanting for a long time, which is play as Johnny Gat. I'm not kidding, a lot. Normally you yell at me when I wing it. Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. we go! We're going into Matt's, uh, prison. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Zeniac, for, uh, basically calling the human race bunch of morons. Red and blue. Matrix reference. Although I really shouldn't be mad. The Matrix apparently is still big even in 2013. Uh, I love all these, like, all this footage. It seems to basically be, uh, you know, uh, footage from every other thing we've done over the years, including the original game. Donnie, you know what, I'm rescuing Matt, because that's what the name of the episode is. Okay. 
Okay. Wearing the purple star. <laughs> it's a raven? <laughs> phone and we'll get you out of there now. Kill that thing! And now, we gotta go save him from the Zen. I don't like the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be. My six agent, for God's sake. He can take care of us. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Kenzie! Come on! Fine. <laughs> okay, not really. Then on time of his life, he's actually terrified out of his life. Just gotta go save him, and uh, this episode's a little longer than most of the episodes I've done on my uh, Saints Row Let's Play. Actually, it's probably as long as the last episode, uh, which I, by the way, was not anticipating being that long. Uh, okay, next episode is gonna be dedicated to all side quests. Mostly because uh, I want to just get Matt out. Here we go. Time to break Matt out. And I noticed my uh, microphone seems to be having some minor problems. Uh, hello? Yeah, my microphone seems to... It's blinking on and off. That's only because I guess it's reducing the game sound. And occasionally it comes right back up. He will die. I'm just going to skip the cutscene, you don't really need to watch that, because I'm, I'm trying to save time here. We get it, Matt will die if we don't reach him. And by the way, this whole our power armor uh, robot argument... If you do damage the power armor, you can find repair kits in some of the storage crates. Here's the thing, uh, we do get power armor at the end of the uh, game. No guns? You're killing me, Kinsey. I found you power armor. If you can't hack the doors and I don't exactly have fingers, how do I open them? Okay, time to go find Matt. Yeah, I got a robot. What do you guys got? 
Jack shit! And Jack just left town! So is six year old me, so uh... Okay, we gotta wait for the power to come back on a bit. So, okay, now we can go. Oh, shit, one of the pods is broken. Any chance that's the one Matt was in? They didn't really label these things, Kinsey, but I hope so. Fair Johnny did not teach you how to fight with a uh, robot. He taught you how to. on here. Oh, there's a way around. All the fact that you can actually level up while you're in here. It's cool.
Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. That little tune reminded me of that song, a little VG song. Oh, no. I'm also lying. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of funny. I just gotta get a message to her. It's a robot. Kinsey is so wrong about this. Power armor is more or less what Iron Man wears. And this is neither Mark 1, Mark 2, or Mark 3, so Kinsey's wrong. Run away, okay, boss? Chill out. Okay, we made it. Please tell me there's no music in this stage, otherwise I uh, don't want to have to say, hey, pepper music, guys, sorry. Gonna have to mute it. Matt, the least you can do is help protect the ship. Kid, do not comment on my aim, okay? I've been playing shooter games for... Yeah, right. 
not even scratching the damn thing. Screw the big ship! Focus on the little ones. Okay, dude? Safe spot. Better actually be safe, Kenzie. Seriously. If it's not safe, then you lied! To quote Zim. <laughs> you lied! To quote... Actually, I miss Invader Zim. Man, that, that was one hell of a great show. Got it! It probably just blew itself up, so, uh, thank god. Anyway, uh, like I said, we just rescued Matt! Yeah! Woohoo! I don't want to sound needy or anything, but I just blew up a capital ship. And please note they're setting up two different, uh, very, very different, uh, things here. They're basically tricking you. I'm not gonna give a spoiler for anyone who's not played the game. Uh, or has never played Saints Row before in their lives. Anyway, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys for episode 15. And, I, and yes, I do love, uh, doing this. Sorry about that. Uh, I will be doing the loyalty missions, believe it or not. And yes, it is a parody of Mass Effect. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time.